Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What's going on, crew? Today we have a little bit bigger diecast than usual. We are doing the 118th scale of Letty's Custom Plymouth Barracuda from The Fast and the Furious. And first of all, I wanted to give a shout out to SC Diecast. Uh, this is where I picked up that. This is where I picked up this vehicle. Um, I bought a couple of vehicles from them. They are local to me, so just wanted to give them a shout out on the video, saying thanks for supplying me with some diecast vehicles. And I will go ahead and leave a link down below if you want to check them out. I know they are on Facebook and they do have a eBay store. And they sell a lot of different stuff, uh, Johnny Lightning, uh, Green Light, all that kind of stuff. So here we go. This is the uh, Letty's Custom Plymouth Barracuda, like I said, 118th scale. And this is actually made by Highway 61, Fast and the Furious. And like I said, this is the bigger one. This is the 118th scale. And there is the image on the back. I do believe that I did a video on the 124th and 132nd scale of this one. Um, only difference is it is made by a different company. Jada did the smaller ones. So if you want to see that one, I will go ahead and leave a link at the end screen so you can check out the smaller size. But let's go ahead and get this one opened. Well, that was easy. <laughs> no screws, no nothing. So, um, like I said, this one is Highway 61. Um, I just noticed on the box that it does say it is made by Greenlight. So this is a Greenlight edition. All right, so this one says item number HWY, and it's 18005. So let's see if that's what it says on the bottom. Not 100% sure on green light. Hmm. No, nope, I don't see any item numbers down here. But I do see a Highway 61 with a number 0427. So I wonder if these were um, limited to a certain amount of numbers. It doesn't say that on the box or anything. It just says 118th limited edition, but it doesn't say how many are made. But here we go. Now this one's going to be a little bit more detailed. I know I did some um, of the Jada 118th, but I think this one has more detail. But let's just go ahead and check it out. All right, so the front end. The little lights down here seem to be clear plastic. This bottom part here is plastic. The grill is plastic. It's clear headlights with a little paint in the middle for the dot. And then this stuff up here is all die cast. I mean, this thing does look a lot detailed. All right, so here are the wheels. And then the side stripe. Then on the back, it does say CUDA. And then, what's that supposed to be? AAR? So it looks like to me, CUDA AAR. I know somebody commented in the last time I did this that that meant something, but I don't remember what they said. All right, let's take a look at this inside. I'm just gonna drop the camera a little bit, guys. There we go. All right, opening the door. The 
side mirror here is hard plastic with the reflection tape. That's cool. The back, the front seat does fold down. You can see it's got a lot more detail on there. You can see the seat belts. There is the steering wheel. I know on some of these they actually work. Nope, that one doesn't work. But it does have the two two-tone, the brown with the black. And then you can see the gauges in the back as well. And then if you fold down the seat, you can see the back seats there. You got the seat belts back there and everything. So that's cool. This one's a little bit more detailed. All right, take a look at the back. It's got the license plate. This insert here is plastic. This bottom part is plastic. The spoiler is plastic. The trunk is metal. And there are the taillights. And let's see what's in there. Oh, nice. Wow. All right, so it looks like there is a spare tire. And is that the jack over there? Spare tire, jack, and maybe some tools up top. Well, that's cool. Like I said, this, this one compared to Jada, I think is a lot more detailed. Jada's 118th don't have that much, but then you're paying... This one's like 20 bucks more usually, 20 to 30 bucks more than the Jada versions. So that is what you're paying for. All right. Passenger side is going to be the same. And let's look inside. So the seat folds down. Fold it up. There's your shifter. It's got a little bit of detail on the dash as well. And the dash even also looks a little textured. So that's cool. And the seat belts do have a little silver where the buckle would be. So that's cool. Alright, I'm kind of excited to see what's under the hood now. I wonder how detailed it's going to be under there. Even the hood pins, I mean, they look pretty detailed. And I wonder if they actually work. They do. So the hood pins are functional. Alright, so let me try to get these things off carefully. Oh, there we go. There's one. Wow, that's crazy. And there's two. Look how, look how small these things are. Nice, don't want to lose those. Alright, now let's go ahead and pop the hood. Oh wow, look at that guys. That is super detailed. Let's see if I can get the best angle at it. So it actually looks like, I mean this thing's got so much detail. It's even got, here let me use my screwdriver. Look, even the battery cables are there. It's got all the wiring. There's your air cleaner. You can even see the motor down here. Wow, and I know it probably doesn't even look that good on camera, but, oh, look, even, wow, this is crazy. This is the first time I've gotten one of the highway, but look, even, see it back there, guys? There's even a spring on the hinge. But like I said, you're, you're, for this extra detail, you, you, you pay it, because like I said, the Jada 118 scales are, um, they're like twenty to thirty dollars less than this one, so I think these retail for like a hundred and twenty. But you pay for it, and when we we're looking earlier underneath, I mean even underneath is super detailed. Look, even the the front wheels do move a little bit. Oh, so the steering wheel does move. Nice. See, remember I told you some of them the steering wheel moves? Now the old Fast and the Furious, they were made by Ertl, uh Racing Champs. They had a lot more detail like this. Look, you can see the bottom of the motor. You can see all the exhaust, differential. And then look, even the brake lines. They actually put... I think that's what they gotta be. 
Yeah. Even the brake lines are down there. That is cool. Well, here we go, guys. Here is the Barracuda. Like I said, this one is made by Highway 61, which looks like it is made by um, Greenlight. I'm not even going to try to put those back in on camera because I know they're just going to... Uh, they're going to be hard. They're probably going to go flying everywhere. But here we go. Here is the 118th scale. So this one's bigger than normal. 124th scale is probably that size, and then 132nd is a little smaller. But if you want to see those other ones, you can go check it out. Like I said, I'll leave the video at the end link, and then you can kind of even compare. Um, maybe eventually I'll dig out some of my old 118th scales and show you how detailed those were. But I know I do have 118th versions of I believe the orange Supra the white Supra and I know I have a couple more that I still got to get done so maybe I'll maybe I'll do some of those in the next videos I don't know what do you guys want to see do you want to see some more of these 118 scales I know they're coming out with a couple of new versions of these as well but won't ramble on too much um, if you guys will if you haven't already uh, go ahead hit that subscribe button and join the Spent Too Much Diecast crew. Then also hit that bell notification. And that way you'll get notified every time I put up a new video. And then again, I want to give the shout out to SC Diecast. They are a local um, retailer around here. And they hooked me up on certain diecasts that I'm looking for. But other than that, thanks for watching. And we will see you on the next unboxing. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again everybody and have a great day.